Hello, hello. Pokemon time. Hello again. Hello, hello. So, uh, I'm back again, uh, as I was last week, doing some Pokemon TCG openings. Hello, Stongles! Uh, last week we had some hidden fates. This week, as you can see, I got a couple of these Detective Pikachu packs. Uh, mainly because I collect Pikachu cards, uh, but I never actually bought any of these when the movie came out, and I don't really know why, because I loved the movie, I thought it was great, so I've picked up a couple now. And right off the bat, we've got two uh, Pikachu cards to put in the collection, two different Detective Pikachu ones, which I think... Oh, they do actually have different attacks, so that's interesting, because as uh, happens a lot sometimes with promos now is they actually just have different artwork but the attacks are the same. So it's interesting that the, these actually do different attacks to each other. Uh, and as I have said uh, several times that Spook has heard, I actually really like the packaging that they've done on these. Like, they put a lot more effort into this than they normally do. We don't normally have this sort of folder opening, but I guess because this is to go hand in hand with the movie, they kind of want to make a good impression maybe. Hoping that maybe people who watch the movie but don't play the game might get into the game. I don't know. So there are two things that I am hoping to get out of the booster packs in these. Uh, there is, I believe, another Pikachu card and there is also an Arcanine and that's the main thing that I am after in these booster packs, along with these uh, promos. So I'm gonna crack open this. I've also got here a little sheaf of some single cards that I ordered and we'll probably go through those at the end because I know what those are. Um, so unfortunately, as lovely as this packaging is, I'm gonna have to rip this apart because I don't know how to get in to this scissor time. No, I'm not using a knife. I don't trust myself with the knife. I'm surprised you trust me with the knife. <laughs> I'm trying to work out the best thing along this side, I think. There we go. Nice bit of scissor ASMR to go by the microphone. That seems to have opened up something. Here we go. Just because it's a little later than uh, last week, as you can no doubt see, we've played around with putting a light just here to try and help with the camera focusing, which I think it is for now, because uh, we don't really have a proper setup. Oh, and this comes with uh, some sun and moon packs. <laughs> I'm not that interested in sun and moon, but I guess I'll open them, you never know. Careful now. Get the promo out carefully. There we go. Plastic, the two boost packs, there's only four in those. And the collector's coin, which I believe I'm going to have two of by the end of this. I think there's one in here as well. First one. Okay, that's the promo code. So there's the first one with two cameras. Make sure I pick the right one. A nice little sparkle on the, sparkle on the hollow there. So there's the first one, that's going to go in the old collection, so let's get him sleeved up. Hello Cor. 
so do you think I should open all the boxes and get all the boost packs out or what? No, I'd say doing box at a time. Box so at a time. See what box gives you what. Okay, let's put this one just down here for now. Okay, I'm going to start with the Detective Pikachu packs. These have only got four in as opposed to the standard ten. So let's see what we got. So I think there's only about twelve cards in the sort of mini set. Really, like not a lot to uh, get. So I don't think there's any sort of shuffle to do with this. That's hollow as well, that's quite nice. More lol. Snowball. Oh, are they all hollow? The Magikarp. And a Machamp. So, all of those have the artwork from the films. That's nice that they're all hollow, though. Oh, there's 18 to guess, it says on the bottom. 15 out of 18. Aww. What a cutie pie. These are opening a lot easier than the other packs. We got a Charmander. Good boy that everybody loves. A Lickitung, which is probably the opposite of that. <laughs> oh, we got the Psyduck, who's like the secondary partner Pokemon in the film. And the Ditto. <laughs> Nope, there we go. Oops. That's a shame. I've only got four of these. I think there's two in here. Yeah. So I've only got two more chances of getting the Arcanine, which is what I'm after. So we'll see how that goes. Is there a Charizard? Uh, I think there was a promo Charizard. They did four promos, which I've not seen anywhere. So I don't know if they were something that you were meant to get when you went to the film. When we went to watch the film, we didn't get given any promo cards, though. And um, so I'm unsure about that. In the same way that there's, an there's another promo Pikachu. And again, I don't know how you're meant to get that, because I can't see it in any packs. So I don't know. Because when we went to see the I Choose You uh, movie, we got a promo, if you remember. Vaguely. Which I believe is in my collection folder here. Uh, this one just here, which has the uh, I Choose You watermark in the corner. So for one one movie to be given a promo Pikachu, I feel like that also may have had one, but of course the thing with that is that it's always like limited stock, or if the staff even remember to give it to you, so they probably, well, you know, they're told to save them for kids or whatever, so who knows. Hey, we've got a Crimson Invasion pack, which weirdly I think I've got had a few of before where I've had packs and they randomly throw in a sun and moon in with like some sword and shield please buy these cards yes please buy the sun and moon cards but the sun and moon era did have good cards in them it's just I'm not kind of that interested in them because I got back into the TCG uh, for sword and shield so as I got into the cards the sun and moon ones are just sort of coming out of rotation they're not going to be valid in you know a couple of months Save that for now. Hey, Naz! Right, uh, one, two, three to the front. And the last one is an energy, fairy energy. Let's see, okay. Give the camera a moment. I think it's focusing on my t shirt. <laughs> I can't, there we go, yeah. Fo just wanted to focus on the t shirt. Diggersby, Hakamoo, which I suppose is a cool concept in, you know, it's uh, based off the Haka dance, which um, is a warrior dance that they do sort of around uh, Hawaii and stuff, which is what the region is based off. A counter capture, which is interesting because I, I have a capture. No, the camera's gone again. <laughs> You're a webcam. <laughs> Again, I don't. I think again. I think it's focusing on my T-shirt. I need to sort of. This T-shirt was evidently not a good choice to wear for this. Unfortunately, I think it's a bit late for me to ask my parents to get me a better camera. 
Though to be fair, they'd probably just buy one of these. I don't, I don't need a webcam, I need a camera. Well, that's a corpish. That's the ghastly, which you can just make out from the artwork. I heard that! <laughs> Spook went, ooh! Houndower? A star you? Jang Moo? To go with Hacker Moo? A Gorgeist reverse? Mm, the reverse pattern on that's quite nice. You can see the uh, energy typing. And an EX card! Sure, I mean, I'll take it. That's quite a nice shimmer effect on that. Uh, let's see, I, uh, I am out of top loaders, so I may have to pill for some uh, from the opening later. How are Pokemon Reverse cards? The Reverse has the hollow effect on the uh, colour. So this, this one you can see it's got like the energy pattern in this purple bit as opposed to a hollow like Psyduck who has the hollow in his artwork in the window. Oh, I wasn't expecting an EX so I suppose that's a pleasant surprise. All in all box one not too bad I suppose the, the GX should be happy for. So now we have box two, the slightly slightly bigger box, which comes with, I'm going to put this upside down so the flap doesn't get too in the way, but there's a figure in there which is so cute, like a little coffee. Right, and I think I can open this from the side. Spook is currently playing around with getting a Minecraft mod pack to work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, there's even like patterns inside the box. Like, un almost like unnecessary attention to detail that is having artwork inside the box. Gonna go on our uh, on our shelf. I have quite a collection of Pokemon figurines, which I'm sure is unsurprising. But that's really cute. He's got his little coffee. No. There's a Skyblock Four out now. Jesus, how many updates can you apply to the same concept? Back in my day, Skyblock was a vanilla challenge. You didn't need to do all these fancy mod packs. Put the poke on way. Huh? Oh! Oh, you're trying to move! I was looking at your screen and I was like, well, is something supposed to be happening? You're supposed to be moving? Oh, he mm -hmm. literally tanked my RAM to get this to run. <laughs> okay, so that's a no. So probably not this one. That's a no. <laughs> Go. There's the other uh, of fingers. There's the other Detective Pikachu. Just went down to PSA grade. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good thing I don't do PSA grading, isn't it? <laughs> it's got a nice, it's got a nice sparkle to it. Thanks. Uh, more sleeves. These are going to go in the Pikachu folder. Oh, this one has got more packs in it. It's got eight packs. Along with a Burning Shadows and a Base Set Sun and Moon. I'm pretty, I think Base Set Sun and Moon is already out of rotation. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. Right, four attempts to get a good doggo. Yeah, 
Well, there's another magic harp right off the map. Charmander, more lol. There he is. <gasps> there's the good boy. Look at him. Please, camera share in this <laughs> moment. Stop focusing on the t-shirt. The streamer struggle is real. If there was anything that made me want an Arcanine in real life, it was seeing the uh, the sort of take on a realistic Arcanine in the movie. It looked so good. S ability security guard. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks. Ah, it literally protects the rest of the bench. Cool. Well, I got what I want, and I've still got three packs left. So anything at the moment is just a bonus. Excellent, good boy. Okay. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of shocked as to uh, how dark the rest of the screen looks. The camera's obviously focusing on that beam of light and making everything else look dark in comparison. So we're just going to blitz through these. Snubble, magic card. Oh, we got the Bulbasaur. He's got the move find a friend! He's friend shaped. Oh, we got the Greninja. So that's cool. I assume the Gyarados is, a, is a, a possibility in this. Again, I don't know if the Gyarados is one of the ones that they made a promo of. I believe Charizard, Pikachu, and the Mewtwo are promos. Psyduck, more lol, and the Machamp again. <laughs> Snubble, oh, the Jigglypuff, Psyduck, and the Mr. Mime. <laughs> He's on the motorbike. Oh dear. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may switch one of your face down prize cards with the top card of your deck. Interesting. Well, that's a missed opportunity. Jigglypuff has healing melody. Heal 10 damage from each of your Pokemon. Why not the put, it, put your enemy to sleep? It's literally what it does in the film. Okay, so we got a stack of Detective Pikachu cards now, but I got the good boy! We only got the one. Got the good boy. Alright. Base set Sun and Moon and a Burning Shadow, so I guess we'll do the base set Sun and Moon. God, these are much more finicky to open. <laughs> hmm. The back of the card is green as opposed to white and green. I feel like that signifies something, but I don't remember what. One, two, three to the front. Technically, four to the front for a water energy. Right. There's going to be a bunch of sun and moon Pokemon in theory. Focusing, there we go. Pukamuku! Crocorock, not a Sun and Moon Pokemon, failed step one. Rainbow Energy. Caterpie, also not a Sun and Moon Pokemon. Skarmory, apparently the Sun and Moon set has very little Sun and Moon Pokemon. More lull, that is a Sun and Moon Pokemon. Galvantula is not. Cutie Fly is. Cutie Fly. Nope, the focus is gone again. Who knows what it's focusing on this time, because it's not the t shirt. Who knows? Oh, it's about a free reverse. Come on. And 
my square in. But nothing incredible in there. I don't know where to put these because they're just going to be sort of hanging around. Because I haven't really got like a dedicated sun and moon place. And this is a Burning Shadows. Good grief. So that one's white and green again. That's weird. One, two, three, four is the energy. To put this on like a bib almost. <laughs> Note to self do not wear the Pikachu in future for openings. There's something sparkling at the back of that stack. I can't do this with the paper, it's just, I'm just gonna go. Buffalant, that's an electric. Thank you. Rhydon, Togodomaru, a Wimpod, and a load of Vulpix, aww. A Meowth, a Riolu, a Reverse Lunatone, and a Golisopod GX. Fair enough. What? <laughs> cool. Two GXs. That's a pleasant surprise, to be honest. Green is heavier to stop people weighing packs. Oh, fair enough. Maybe, maybe when uh, the world stops being on fire, I can go to the uh, the TCG store and see if anybody's interested in trading these. Because uh, I'm probably not going to use them. Right. I don't, yeah, I'm, I don't know where I'm going to put these. I may have to make a miscellaneous sun and moon pile. Okay, so moving on, I have this stack now. <laughs> the snubble is very cute. I think I got two snubbles, so yeah, I got two snubbles. So I could definitely give you one next time we are able to meet up. Okay, what I'm gonna do is... Uh, no, I'll save the folder for the end because there's stuff in here to go in the folder. So this is just a stack of singles that I bought uh, from a card website. I have several that I use. So uh, I know what all of these are. I specifically bought them to go in my collections. So it uh, looks like we've got some tape on the top loader. Can I peel this off? Okay, that's a pain. Yep. That's not... That's a negative. Okay, we're gonna carefully slice down the side of that, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God, why would you ship cards like this? I don't want to... I don't want to put the knife down there, because I don't want to damage it. What? Your knife is even thicker than that. Yeah, you run it along, it's serrated. Yeah, but I, I don't want to run it. I don't want to run it because I don't want to damage the cards that are inside there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's get this off. Okay. Probably not going to be able to reuse some of these top loaders because they've got tape glue all over them. Why would you ship cards like this? <laughs> Come on. 
I mean, at least they're in top loaders. This would be absolute hell if they were in sleeves and taped together. There we go. Okay. Well, the first one that you've already seen... Oh, they put them back to back. So, the first one that you saw was an Arcanine for the Arcanine collection. There's an Arcanine break, which uh, is played like this. It was one of those times where they were trying to do new things. So you have the Arcanine on the field and you put a break over the top like that, covering the artwork. So you gain this additional attack and increased HP, but you keep these ones and these abilities. So it was kind of... It's kind of like an evolution because you put it on top, but yeah, it was, it was an interesting mechanic. So I got, and, and they were all gold for some reason as well. So there's the, the the good boy, good golden boy. And on the back, this is an Yveltal EX shiny. So Yveltal is normally, this is like a negative version. So these white parts are normally black. So that's quite cool and quite striking against the black of the duck type as well. So I got that for my small shiny collection that I've got. Now, have these been put in the same sleeve? They have. No, they have not. Okay. There we go. So that top loader has a lovely glue mark on it. So not you're not going to use that. And I just realised that I left that face up on the table. There's the partner to go with the shiny Yvettel. They also did a shiny Xerneas, and I believe the patterning is the same. Xerneas's uh, white forelegs and white face markings are traditionally black. So they did both a shiny Yvettel and a shiny Xerneas. I'm going to put these in slightly stronger sleeves than these plasticky ones. That's in a slightly stronger sleeve. We'll do the same for the good boy. Wow, that is very sparkly. So he is going to go in the folder there. I have no idea which way I'm supposed to store this. That way? That way? My instinct says that way, so I'm going to put that around because I'm weird and I put things in sleeves upside down when they go into folders. Okay. I suppose they can go in there for later. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay so that's a back-to-back -back one. That top loader is fine, if a little scuffed, but to be fair I have plenty of top loaders that are scuffed. So I'm going to put the lysopod in that. Because the whole point of the top loader is for it to get scuffed and not the card. That does not want to go in, there we go. There we go, so he's nice and safe in there now. a lot nicer now that it's out of the sleeve. Unfortunately it's going back in a sleeve because I want to keep it safe. <laughs> there we go. So they're a nice little duo. They're meant to go together. And then next is everyone's favourite from their childhood. It's a red Gyarados. There we go. I'm 
trying to remember what the other ones I got were, because these were the main prizes. That's glossy all over, which is interesting. Okay, what were these ones? It's another top loader that can't really be used, because it's all covered in tape. I suppose if you had a bit of cleaner, you could probably try to clean that sticky off, but I don't think we have any. Those can go in there, my little sleeve box. Right, ah. I remember now. So these are... Okay, they've put all of these in one sleeve because they're classed as commons and uncommons. But they are still all shiny. And thus they are going in my shiny collection. Which is uh, in an interesting choice. Because they are shiny but not holographic. Because they're only commons. And they've also got this weird dual typing thing going on. This was another sort of gimmick that I think literally only lasted one set. So that Volcarona is shiny, it's meant to have orange wings I believe, and it, instead it's got gold and yellow ones. A Bisharp, which is meant to be red. Oh, this one's hollow, okay. Dark and steel dual type. And a shiny Azumarill, which I think quite a few people know is meant to be blue. And that is just, uh, that's an uncommon. So uh, you can apparently get several of those for that set. Uh, and that is the extent of that. So I am putting these in sleeves, despite their sort of lack of rarity, because they are going in the collection. It's nice that the Bisharp is hollow. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were non-hollows because they were not rares. But apparently he was. Okay, so here's my little shiny folder. I have lots of other shinies that aren't in here, they're in top loaders, which are the Hidden Fates ones I got. So there's a shiny Mew, which I'm really proud of. Part of me thinks that maybe I should put it in a top loader, but it is safe in there in the sleeve as well. And then I've got some shiny legendary dogs, which I didn't even know I had. It was when I got this shiny Mew that I was like, oh, I can collect shiny, shiny Pokemon. And then I realized I already had these ones. So I inadvertently had them before I knew that was a thing. So I'm going to put a zoomer out. And here. Back to back with Volcarona. And by Sharp is going to go in there. On this page we're going to put... which one comes first? Xerneas comes first. We're going to put Xerneas opposite Yvagdol, since the pair of them are partnered. And then the Gyarados can go behind there. I believe... I can't remember what it is, but... I think Gyarados does hold the record of the most like shiny iterations in the TCG game and then I think it's Rayquaza and then I think it's Charizard but Charizard seem has gotten like three shinies in the last year so he's gonna like overtake Rayquaza soon if they don't print more Rayquaza shinies but I kind of want them to do that because if they keep printing more and more shinies then the rarity goes down but at the same time, it's cool to have. Nostalgia! <laughs> like a Nicolas Cage. I love that shiny Mew so much. Cool, so that's the shinies. 
That's also why I put them in the fold the sleeve upside down, because then they're protected because the folder opens at the top. Yeah, there's the, the back of this has so front is regular Pikachu shining Mew. Back is shining Rayquaza, shining Genesect, and regular Mewtwo. Couldn't reach a decision on that one apparently. Are they shiny or not shiny? Right, so now we want a big folder. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move some of these out to the side. Big folder time! Oh, these Pikachus. Okay, uh, this one goes first. In there. And then this one can go in here. Yep. Then we move on to the good boys! Many good boys. Uh, what say is this? It's a promo, that doesn't help. Okay. I'm trying to keep these somewhat chronologically, but I'm not 100%. Are you okay? Oh lord, that is loud. Dear god, Ow. I can hear that through my headphones. Ow. Okay, I think uh, Spook just ruptured his eardrums. Yeah, uh, 2017. So... 16... 17... 18... 19... That's 20, okay. And this one is 19, so I'm actually going to shuffle some of these around a bit. So these two are the most modern ones. That's a 2019. So I'm going to put him in the centre, since he is a fancy break card. He can go there. And then these two can go here and here. Those are from Darkness Ablaze, I think those are. Those are... Sword and Shield ones, those are modern Arcanines. Cool, so that's the Arcanine collection done. <laughs> I love this artwork. There is a, uh, you know how they did uh, dark Pokemon, like Team Rocket Pokemon? There was a set that had light Pokemon in to try and counteract that a bit. And they did a light Arcanine, which I really want, because that's a lovely looking card. Yeah, this is the Hollow Sky Ridge, I think, is the set for that. He's a pretty one. I like his artwork as well, and he's hollow. You can see the glitter. Even when the camera's not focusing, you can see the hollow glitter, which is nice. He has got a crease in him, but I don't care. Because I was just happy to get one. Cuckoo! Many excellent boys, but um, I think that's it. Yeah, it's uh, only a short one. That's all I've got to uh, open. And I don't think I have anything on order at the moment because last week when I opened the Hidden Fates, I said, "Oh, I haven't got anything else to open, so that'll be it for a while." I forgot that I had these packs on order, but I'm pretty sure I don't have anything else on order anymore so that will be that so two gx's which is actually quite nice one per box maybe uh, in the future you'll tell your boyfriend if you're expecting an amazon delivery <laughs> maybe maybe sounds fake god forbid he has to get out of his chair <laughs> take no you're not allowed you're not allowed <laughs> I don't know what to do with these Sun and Moon cards. They're probably just going to go in a box and get forgotten about. Because I don't use Sun and Moon. And that's just a bit of, that's just a bit of paper that they use to package the cards that can go as well. 
they can go in the box. Are you quite happy? Are you done? This is why I pass the desk. Uh huh. It is. You done? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good, because I think I'm done as well. Dink. He's gonna go on the shelf. And I got a coin. Yeah, that's it. Spook is playing around with some Minecraft stuff. If we can get it working, maybe we'll play Minecraft tonight. I don't know if I'll stream it. He was the one who suggested I streamed it. So we'll see about that. But uh, in the meantime, we should probably have some dinner because we've not eaten yet. So thanks for thanks for chilling, guys. Thanks for humouring my current obsession with the TCG, which is um, it makes me happy. So. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.